Welcome to Kat Sarah Yoga. I'm Kat and this is day 17 of 30 days of yoga. Open and balance. Enjoy the class. We're starting in our comfortable cross-legged seats, either traditional cross-legged position or one heel in front of the other. Maybe you choose to sit up on a block or a cushion to give your pelvis that little bit of a lift so you can sit up even taller and straighter. Close your eyes. And allow your awareness to scan over your body, observing how you're feeling. Observing the points of contact between your body and the mat and the block or cushion underneath you. And feeling grounded, connected with the earth. Take in a lovely deep breath and exhale and again allow this breath to follow its easiest path maybe in through the nose out through the mouth or maybe nostril breathing or even through your mouth if that's easier for you let's add a shoulder shrug to this next breath in inhale shoulders up to the ears lengthen your spine and exhale sigh the shoulders down the back and again and then keeping your shoulders down your back as if you could put them into your back pockets and keep them there feeling long and lengthened all up the back of your body lifted from the base of your skull and the crown of your head and just continuing to observe your breath a few more rounds here with this lovely tall posture that you have created in the spine maybe beginning to Favour nostril breathing as it warms and humidifies the air as it comes into your body and releases more slowly as you breathe out through your nostrils. So lengthening your exhalation, slowing down the circle of breath. Inhalation followed by exhalation. And as the breath slows down, the body enters a state of relaxation. Feel good hormones start to be released as a counteract to stress hormones. Slow breaths, inhalation followed by exhalation. I'm beginning to notice that after every inhalation, there is a naturally occurring pause and the exhalation organically begins. And then after the exhalation, there is a pause and the inhalation organically begins. Allow these pauses to have importance in the circle of breath. Mm, lovely. And stay connected with your circle of breath as you exhale and drop your chin towards your chest. Inhale, look up and over one shoulder. And exhale, drop your chin towards the chest. Inhale, look out over the other shoulder. Exhale, chin towards the chest. Inhale, bring your head to centre and palms to touch. As you exhale, drop your shoulders down your back. Inhale, squeeze your palms together, feel strength in your upper back. And exhale again, drop the shoulders down the back. Inhale, reaching your arms up, interlock your fingers. Turn your palms up towards your ceiling and exhale, drop your chin. Inhale, bring your head to centre, ground the sit bones, ground the feet. And exhale, reach, extend and lengthen into a side lean. Inhale, back to centre. Exhale, reach, extend and lengthen the other way. And inhale, back to centre, bring palms to touch. And exhale, your hands down in front of your heart. Inhale, sweeping your arms around and up. And exhale as you circle your wrists in towards the midline of your body as you circle down and then bring palms to touch inhale reaching your hands up and exhale circle your wrists away from the midline of the body as you exhale and float the arms down beautiful let your fingertips come down to the floor tall long spine inhale sweeping one arm up and exhale over into a side lean inhale cut wheeling arms up and exhaling over continuing with your breath inhale up exhale over root down into the earth to lengthen up coming back to center one more round each side good come back to the center changing over the cross of your legs let's keep our bodies nice and even 
So it might just feel a bit different this way with the other leg in front, and that's okay. Nice long spine. Inhale, reaching your arms up to shoulder height. Exhale, bring your fingertips onto your shoulders. Inhale, circle your elbows up. And exhale, back and down, squeezing shoulder blades together. Inhaling up. And exhale down. One more in this direction. And then we'll circle the other way. Inhaling back and up. And exhale forward and down. Such a wonderful shoulder release movement, this one. And release your hands down. Have a few little shoulder shrugs. Bring palms to touch in front of your heart. Inhale, reaching your arms up, lengthen your spine. Exhale, twist from the base of your spine, looking out over your back shoulder. Inhale, reach and lengthen up. Wonderful space between each vertebra. And exhale, twist, look out over the back shoulder. Lovely, we're warming up ready for a delicious yoga practice. We're going to be working into the hips today and doing some balancing. Good. So last round, come back to the centre, draw your hands down in front of your heart. So we'll come into hair pose now, so directly into hair pose. You can come forward onto hands and knees, then widen your knees, bring your big toes together, bring your bottom down to your heels and extend forward on the mat. So beginning to feel a little bit of an opening stretch into the inner thighs, across the groin area, around the sacroiliac area where your spine meets the pelvis. Work your tailbone down towards your heels and don't worry if you can't touch your tailbone or your bottom to your heel. You can place a cushion in between bottom and heels if that helps. You'll feel a stretch in the tops of your feet as well. Inhale, come up onto hands and knees. Aligning hands under shoulders, knees under hips, spreading out your fingers, creases between the wrists and hands parallel with the front of the mat, lengthen from the crown of your head to the tailbone. Feel your tummy slightly drawing in towards your spine so you're not sagging through your middle and soft elbows so they're not looking straight. Draw your shoulder blades down your back as if you could put them into your back pockets and keep them there. Imagine that you have a light on your chest and you're beaming it straight down to the earth. Inhale as you shine that light forward in front of you. Curl your toes under, ground your toes into the mat and up cat. Bring the tops of your feet to the mat. Exhale, round your spine, we're coming all the way down to child pose. Bottom to the heels, belly to the thighs, forehead to the mat. Or towards the heels, belly and mat. Inhaling, coming back up. Shine the chest through to up cat. Tops of the feet to the mat, ground down through the tops of your feet as you tuck your tailbone under, round your whole spine, and sink your bottom down into child pose. So a couple more rounds here with the breath, inhaling up cut, exhale round and down. And then on your next inhalation, Coming back to hands and knees and clarifying your flat cat position again. If your wrists are tender, you might like to make gentle fists with the hands. And stretching your right leg out behind you. Keep your pelvis nice and level. Inhale as you raise that leg up to hip height in tiger balance. And then exhale as you turn to look at your right knee and draw it in towards you, trying to keep the hips level. It's a little bit tricky. <laughs> inhale, stretch and extend away. Tummy drawing in, not sagging through the lower back. Exhale, draw the knee in. Inhale, extend away. Hands can be flat if you're okay with the wrists. Exhale, draw the knee in. Inhale, away. Place your foot back down, knee under the hip, and exhale, round into round cat. Inhale, flatten into flat cat. Also, if you have tender wrists, you can do this from elbows. So that's another good alternative, elbows under the shoulders directly. So we're in our flat cat position, let's do the other side. Tummy drawn in towards the spine, shoulders away from the ears. This is so strengthening for your arms, as well as your back and your hips and your buttocks. So we're extending the left leg away, lift that leg up just to hip height. Inhale, widen, fill into your chest. And exhale, draw your knee in as you turn to look at the left knee. 
Inhale, extend away. Try to keep the pelvis as level as possible and keeping the left knee as high as possible. You're lifted from your armpits. Well done. And place the foot down, knee under the hip. Take a nice inhale and exhale, round your spine into round cat. Release your neck, let your head hang down. Inhale, shine through to up cat, toes curl under. And exhale, round into down cat. Also called round cat. And inhale, shine. So last one, and then coming down to rest in child pose. Maybe have a little circle out for your wrists if they need it. And then turning your palms to face upwards, feeling this external spiral of rotation happen in your shoulders as you do that. And turn your palms to face down, grounding your hands into the air. Inhale, come up onto hands and knees. Curl your toes under and exhale your bottom into the air into downward facing dog, pushing your tailbone up and back towards the line between the ceiling and the wall. Inhale, hands and knees, and exhale into child pose. Inhaling, hands and knees. Curl your toes under, exhaling into downward dog. Inhaling onto hands and knees, and exhaling into child pose. So then inhaling hands and knees and exhaling into downward dog. Challenge yourself in this position. You can paddle alternate heels down as if you were squashing grapes under your heels, feeling that extra back of the leg stretch. Stay here in stillness, going over the alignment points in your head, nice spread out hands, nice spread out finger, pushing your tailbone up and back towards the line between the ceiling and the wall. If you want a little bit of extra challenge here, you can come into a one-legged dog. So raising your right leg up, keeping the hips level to begin with, and just raise and float that right foot up as high as you can. Keep pushing your hands into the earth, pushing your tailbone up and back towards the line between the ceiling and the wall. And then if you want a bit more, you can bend your right knee, opening your hips to the right, don't let your left knee, so the supporting knee, don't let that twist. So keep externally rotating through the left thigh. Really hip opening stretch here. Straighten your right leg up again and place your foot back down. Have a paddle for your feet. And then let's all move together, inhaling hands and knees again and exhaling into child pose. Take a moment to rest here. So on your next inhalation, come to hands and knees. Curl your toes under, exhale, bottom into the air, into downward dog. And so either keep moving with the breath through this dynamic dog vinyasa, hold this downward dog pose in stillness, relaxing your neck, let your head hang down, or have that extra challenge of raising the left leg up this time. And float your left foot, so the other foot, up high, as high as you can, but keeping your hips level, keep the pelvis level, keep pushing your hands into the air. And then bending your left knee, bringing the left foot towards the right buttock. You won't touch the buttock, but towards it. Rotating your hips to the left, but not letting your right knee twist. So keep rolling that right thigh out. And breathe here. Good. One more breath, doing so well. Straighten your left leg up, gently place the foot down. Have a paddle for your feet. And then walking your hands behind your feet, keeping them parallel. Walk your hands back to your feet. Let your knees bend, belly rest on the thighs into forward fold. Bring your hands onto your shins. Inhale, lift collarbone up and forward, flat back. Exhale, release back down. Roll your tummy and lift your pelvic floor. Hinge at your hips as you come all the way up to standing. Gentle back bend, inhale at the top. And exhale, your hands down in front of your heart. So let's enjoy a couple of rounds of sun salutation. So check you've got nice parallel feet, soft knees, neutral pelvis like a bowl of water that's not spilling, shoulders stacked over your hips and palms to touch. Inhale, arms sweep around and up, gentle back bend. Exhale, diving forward, hinging at your hips. Let your belly come to your thighs, round your upper body over. Bring hands to shins, inhale, collarbone up and forward, flat back. You can also come up onto fingertips there if you like. Exhale, release 
back down, rounding over your knee. Step your left foot back, lower the left knee to the floor. Shuffle your right foot forward so the ankle is under the knee directly when you push your hips forward. Inhale, reach and lengthen your arms up into low lunge. Shoulders are dropping down your back. Exhale, ground your hands. Step back into your half plank position. So you might like to come into downward dog from here, or you might like to lower down in one long piece in Chaturanga. So take an inhale here, and then exhaling either into downward dog or lower down to the floor in one long piece. Bring the tops of your feet to the mat. We're doing our baby cobra to start with. Inhaling, lifting collarbone up and forward, grounding through the outside edge of the, the feet, so the baby toe side of the feet. And exhale, release back down, working into that gentle back bend. Curl your toes under, draw your tummy in, lift the pelvic floor, come back up to hands and knees as you inhale, and then exhale into downward dog. Inhale here. Exhale, step your left foot forward in between your hands. Lower your right knee to the floor, top of the foot to the mat. Left ankle is directly under the knee, shuffle it forward. Draw your tummy in towards your spine, feel your spine lengthening as you rise up into your low lunge. Shoulders drop away from your ears. Exhale, ground your hands. Curl your back toes under. I like to shuffle my front foot back a little. Step your back foot forward, it's okay to shuffle it. Knees are bent, belly rests on the thighs. Forward fold. Hands to the shins or up onto fingertips. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release back down. Draw your tummy in, lift your pelvic floor. Hinge at your hips as you come all the way up to standing. Inhale towards the top. Gentle back bend. Exhale, hands down in front of your heart. Let's go again. And remember, use your ujjayi breath if you were able to find it. We did that one on day 12, so you can always go back and review. And see if you can find your ujjayi breath as you move through this sun salutation, because it will slow your breath and it will give you that sense of inner strength. So palms to touch in front of the heart. Inhale, arms sweep around and up, gentle back bend. Exhale, diving forward, hinging at the hips, knees bend, belly rest on the thighs. Inhale, collarbone lifts up and forward, knees stay bent, flat back. Exhale, release back down. Let's step our right foot back this time. Lower the right knee, top of the foot to the mat. Scoot your front foot forward so the ankle's under the knee directly. Inhale, reaching and lengthening up into your beautiful, energizing lunge. Exhale, ground your hands. Inhale, stepping back into half plank and then either exhaling into downward dog or exhaling, lowering down to the floor in one long piece. So we're going to do our variation here, which is our preparation for upward facing dog. Inhale, push your heels away, engage the fronts of your thighs. So the parts of your thighs that are just above the knees, they will lift off the mat as they engage strongly. You might find your forehead naturally lifting off the mat as your back muscles work and your diaphragm works. Exhale, release back down. Draw your tummy in, lift the pelvic floor, coming up onto hands and knees. Curl your toes under and exhale into downward dog. Inhale here and exhale, stepping right foot forward in between the hands. Lower your back knees to the floor, top of the foot to the mat. Inhale, reach and lengthen into low lunge. And exhale, release back down. Curl your back toes under, step forward to the front of the mat. Parallel the feet. Inhale, collarbone up and forward, flat back. And exhale, release back down. Hinge at your hips. Inhale as you come all the way up, gentle back bend. And exhale, your hands down in front of your heart. So we're coming into tree pose. And it doesn't matter where you are on your mat, so find yourself a comfortable place to stand. Feet are parallel, heel behind the widest part of the foot. Soft knees. We'll find our Tadasana, our perfect standing posture first. With thumbs on the back of the pelvis, fingertips on the inner hip bones, lift and spread out your toes and rock your weight forwards and backwards on your feet. And then grounding down through the balls of the big toes, balls of the little toes, left and right sides of the heels, arches feel lifted. Soft knee bend. And your knees are aligned with the lines between the second and third toes and your inner hip bones. So not letting your knees roll in or out. Your thigh muscles will be working. Feel like you're sucking your thigh muscles up towards your hip sockets. Tip your pelvis forwards and backwards. Forwards like a bowl of water spilling out the front. Backwards like a bowl of water spilling out the back. 
making each tilt smaller each time until your pelvis is perfectly level, a bowl of water not spilling, shoulders stack over your hips directly, and you can release your arms down by your sides. Have a few shoulder shrugs and circles. Feeling all the, the movements that the shoulder blades can make on the back. Inhale up, exhale down, and the other way. They can squeeze up to the ears, they can slope forwards, they can squeeze together. We want to find the place where your shoulder blades are sliding down your back in their perfect positions. Not sloping forwards, not squeezing together, definitely not up by the ears. They can be depressed down the back a bit. Palms come to face forward. Just take a moment to close your eyes. Allow your mind to scan over your body, feeling toes are relaxed, feet grounded, ball of the big toe, ball of the little toe, left and right sides of the heel, arches are lifted. Soft knee bend, thighs engaged, sucking the thigh muscles up into the hip socket. Mutual pelvis, a bowl of water that's not spilling. Just notice whether you can feel the pelvic floor naturally lifting and a soft engagement across the lower abdominal muscles. That's your Mula Bandha right there, your root lock of energy, which occurs when you find this wonderful standing posture. Breathing wide and full into your ribs, chin level with the floor, lifted from the base of the skull and the crown of the head. We're getting ready to balance. Bring your hands to the hips. Thumbs to the back of your pelvis, fingertips to the inner hip bones. And then bringing your weight over into one of your feet, so it doesn't matter which one, whichever feels natural, take the other one either to the ankle, the calf, or the inner thigh of the standing leg. So if you find that bringing the foot to the inner thigh causes the foot to slip down, then just bring this foot below the knee, because we don't want to be pressing sideways on the knee joint, it's bad for the joint. So if you can keep it above the knee, that's fine. Otherwise, have this raised foot below the knee. And you're returning pressure from the standing leg into the raised foot. So you're pushing foot against leg, leg against foot, avoiding the knee joint. Hips are squared forward and the knee rolls out to the side. So these inner hip bones are shining forward like headlights on a car. And you're thinking of that external rotation in the raised leg. Bring palms to touch in front of your heart. And breathe. Tree pose. This is such a beautiful pose. I love this pose. Make sure your toes are not gripping. They are relaxed. You are grounding through the ball of the foot and the heel. Your arch feels lifted. Soft knee in the standing leg thigh working, sucking up towards the hip socket and also returning pressure against the foot if the, the raised foot is on the thigh. Neutral pelvis, shoulders away from your ears. And you can stay here or you might like to go a bit further, inhaling, raising your arms up and exhale, your hands to float above the crown of your head. So about a right angle bend at your wrist so you'll feel a wrist stretch. Elbows are broad, you feel broad across the front of your body and the back of your body evenly. Dropping your shoulders down your back. Check in with your face and jaw. Relax them. Check in with your lips, teeth and tongue. Relax them too. And on your next exhalation, draw your hands down in front of your heart. Return your hands to your hips. Release your raised leg and have a nice paddle out for the feet and a little wobble for the hips. Do what you need, maybe circle the standing ankle. And then coming back to your Tadasana. Soft knees, parallel feet, neutral pelvis, shoulders away from the ears. You might even feel your tummy gently snuggling in towards your spine consciously to encourage that Mula Bandha engagement. Think of the pelvic floor, the hammock of muscle at the base of the body and maybe feel it just slightly consciously lifting so you're so strong in this core area. Breathing wide and full into your ribs, not letting them flare out. Nice even breaths into the rib cage. Bring your weight into your second leg that you haven't done and take your other foot to either the ankle and this is nice, a nice variation because you've still got part of your raised foot on the floor. So it's a lot more easy to balance and you can still rotate that thigh out. So still get that external spiral of rotation happening. Or the calf, 
or the inner thigh. Pushing your foot against your leg, but avoiding the knee joint. So make sure that this raised foot is not on your standing knee. Nice level hips, inner hip bones shining forward like headlights on a car. Bring palms to touch. Shoulders are stacked over your hips. Breathe. Your eyes focus on a still point, something that's not moving. Your drishti, meaning your gaze. Your gaze is focused on something nice and still. And your mind will be focused on this balance. Balances are a beautiful way to still and quieten the mind because your mind is on everything that's going on in your body and keeping you balanced. You might feel lots of micro movements in your standing leg and foot, and that is great. Enjoy that. It's good for your circulation and the tone of your leg and foot as well. If you want more challenge, reach your arms up over your head and exhale your hands to float above the crown of your head. Elbows feel wonderfully broad. Breathing wide and full into your chest. Working to drop your shoulder blades down your back. Wonderful. And then on your exhalation, draw your hands down in front of your heart and release your arms, release your leg, have a little paddle out for your feet. And come to stand at the back of your mat with your feet just a little bit wider than hip distance apart. Make sure you haven't got anything too close behind you. We're going to come down through squat pose. So inhale as you reach your arms out in front for balance and exhale, bend through ankles, knees and hips. It's okay for your heels to lift. And if the heels are lifted, then squat pose is more of a balanced pose. Keep lengthening your spine. If you find that your shoulders are rounding, try lifting your heels more. You can use your elbows to nudge your knees apart. This is a beautiful opening stretch for the hips. Breathe into your chest, feel your collarbone lifting, your spine long. Squat pose strengthens the feet, the knees and the legs. Ah, breathe. So then letting your bottom come down to the floor and give your knees a hug in cosmic egg pose. And then returning your feet to the floor, come into your comfortable seat. Take a moment here to settle yourself, feel your spine long. Inhale, sweep your arms around and up. Bring palms to touch and exhale your hands down, bringing your thumbs to the forehead, just bowing your head and taking a moment to thank yourself for your yoga practice today. Bring your hands to your heart. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me again today. I will look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day 18. And do tell your family and friends that you're practicing Katsuri Yoga, 30 days of yoga, because I'd love it if they joined in the programme too. See you tomorrow.